This semester, I've just been uh, doing the internship at Lawrence High so far, so it's been pretty good. It's exciting. And I guess just looking at Missouri State, like what have you seen on them film-wise? Uh, they're a pretty physical team. Uh, they got a lot of speed, so we got to make sure we respect them and uh, prepare just like we prepare for any opponent. From a defensive perspective, when you're playing a team with two quarterbacks, how does that affect the way that you prepare at all? Oh, you just got to always prepare. I mean, we go against two quarterbacks every day with Jalen and JD, so you just got to always be ready and make sure you're taking advantage of any opportunity you can to uh, be in great position to make plays. On the depth chart, uh, OJ and Marvin have an or between them. Just what have you seen from those guys and how they've improved in recent days? I mean, they've been doing pretty well. Uh, OJ is definitely taking major strides in this program to be a great leader and a great performer on the field, and so have Marvin. So. Uh, those guys are going to be ready to go. Uh, I'm going to be ready to go. Everybody on the, uh, in the secondary will be ready to go. Do you have a goal as a kick returner this year? Uh, nah, just to uh, hopefully get the ball in the end zone a few more times to make sure uh, put our team in the best field position that we can. Do you feel like that, that special teams is going to be an area that's being improved from years past? I feel like our whole team has uh, improved. Uh, we focused on the little details all camp to make sure we put ourselves in the best position to go out there and uh, be successful. Uh, if that's on punt, kickoff, or anything like that, we just try to make sure we uh, locked in and did everything we could to be in the best position. Kenny, what are your expectations for fan support crowd size for these first couple of weeks? I mean, the same as any other, uh, just come out, uh, try to pack it as much as they can. I know it's Friday night, but just to come out there, we uh, use their we use their support, we use their momentum uh, on big plays, on big downs. So just having them out there is going to be exciting. So hopefully it's a packed house. What's it been like transitioning from the camp schedule into the game week schedule, especially when these first two game weeks are Friday night and it's a little different? Uh, it's been pretty smooth. Coach made sure he tried to uh, – make it as easy as a transition as possible. Uh, so it's been pretty smooth. Uh, nothing's really changed. Uh, we just starting on different days now, but we're ready. Uh, we've been prepared pretty well, so we're excited. Are you feeling sentimental at all with this being your, your last first game? <laughs> I try not to think about it. Uh, that was the first time thinking about it right there since you said it. But uh, I try to take uh, advantage of every moment I have. So. When that time comes, that time comes to think about it. But right now, I'm just trying to make sure I'm focused and locked in and trying to help my team be in the best position. Is there any like internal fun competition that you guys have in the DB room about you know who's going to end up with the most interceptions this year? Of course, that's the biggest one right there is who's going to get the most picks. Uh, we try to always compete with each other. Or we try to always raise the, the level and the bar of our room. So anytime we can do something like that, it, it's exciting because we, we get the chance to get our uh, offense back to the ball. Coach Borland talked about you guys starting faster on defense. Does that come from just being locked in from the jump, or how can you kind of get going quicker? I mean, as soon as we hit the field, if that's an individual or anything like that, we got to make sure we're, we're hitting it like when play 60 of a game or something like that. So we just try to make sure we hit the ground rolling and, and fly around every time we can.